All right, we are back. This is uh, Joe Gravel. You have, if you haven't watched my uh, videos with him, um, he's a great writer. And uh, we're opening up a brand new segment here on fighterpath.com called Digging Deep with Joe Gravel. Um, we're essentially, we're going to try to break things down uh, four different ways. One is who's next for so-and-so. Um, next would be analyzing, and we're going to analyze any card or any fight on any given card it doesn't necessarily have to be the main event. Usually we're going to probably pick uh, guys on the prelims or, or guys you may not know about. In this case, we're going to do Kyler Phillips and Song Yadong, who just recently got announced by Bloody Canvas MMA. Um, and then Breakdown, which will probably do the bigger name card or bigger name guys on the card, like the Max Holloways. And then uh, the last one is Sleeper Fights. So we'll pick some, some fights that you may not know about and uh, break them down a little bit um, to give you guys some insight on what you could see for that fight. And uh, we're going to try to keep these videos short and sweet between five and 10 minutes. So you guys don't, uh, don't doze off and fall asleep. Um, so we're, so with the, uh, with the first pick here, first fight we're going to break down is Kyler Phillips and Song Yudong. So here's the tale of tape. All right. So we've got Kyler Phillips. He's 25 years old, five foot, 835 pounds, 70.5 inch reach. On the other side, we've got Song Yadong, 23, 5'8", 135 pounds, and 67 inch reach. So obviously, the reach advantage there is going to be in Kyler Phillips' favor. Exact same height. They're both young prospects, and obviously, this is taking place at Bantamweight. All right, man. So your thoughts on, uh, I guess, first things first, your thoughts on the matchup? I think this is an excellent matchup. Um, when Bloody Canvas and you broke the fight, I was super excited to hear it. Uh, you got Song Yadong fighting out of Team Alpha Male, and you got Kyler Phillips fighting out of the MMA lab. Song Yadong was like Team Alpha Male's prodigy, you know? Everyone was really um, excited for him. He had tons of hype behind him, and I still think he can carry that hype. 16-4, currently on a nine-fight win streak, um, but he did have the draw to um, Cody Stammen, and that was due to a point deduction, I believe. And then he had a close fight with Marlon Vera, where whether you believe Marlon won the fight or... Song Yudong won the fight. It still proves that he can hang with just about anybody, you know, outside of that top 10. He's proven it by now. Um, six wins by TKO, three by submission. He's got excellent mixed martial arts boxing. He's a good wrestler. He's always hunting for, for chokes. And he's just an exciting fighter. You know what I mean? Uriah Faber is tailoring him to be the best he can. And then you got Kyler Phillips, man, this Aikido master. He's got a chance to, to get into the to the numbers here to get a crack at a, a 14th ranked fighter in Song Yudong. And he's doing it quite quickly. He's got an exciting style. He's been practicing B Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu since he was three years old. I mean, he's obsessed with it. It's all he does is train. He's got that DJ-like athleticism. You see him doing the, the flips and the cartwheels after fights. Um, this is a huge leap in status if he wins. Um, he's got a beautiful kicking game, great leg kicks, great lateral movement. Um, you know, Song Yudong can put a stop to his shine right here and prove that he's a he's a different level than Kyler Phillips, or Kyler Phillips can come in here and prove that he's ready for much more and to maybe fight some of the opponents that Song Yudong's got a chance to fight. I think this fight's going to be amazing. Um, Kyler Phillips gets to train with guys like Sean O'Malley, and he's just always improving. And then you got, like I said, Yudong, who's got a great cast around him there. These guys, they they hunt for finishes as much as they, they're good on the ground. They, they search for finishes. You got Yudong, three performance of the night bonuses, one fight of the night, and he's got a lot to lose here. Both guys in great shape physique-wise. I mean, Kyler Phillips has cool hair. We don't know if he's coming in with a ponytail or cornrows. Song Yudong is chiseled, man. These are two wolves. These are two absolute wolves. So I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I mean, you said you said it best. This is uh, the, I, it did shock me a little bit um, because Song Yudong has, I mean, yeah, he's had a couple of controversial wins. I thought he lost a statement and Vera, but he won, right? And he's a ranked fighter. Kyler Phillips is only two and zero in the UFC. Um, his first one was a decision to Gabriel Silva, and his second one was on a newcomer who took the fight on literally no notice. So I was a bit shocked. Uh, that being said, man, Kyler Phillips is a monster. Um, and uh, he looked very, very impressive last time out. And I like it. I like the matchup. I think it's a good matchup. Two young and hungry prospects. Uh, it shocked me a little bit. But now that it's announced, man, I'm, I'm excited. I, I can't wait for this fight. I was hoping it would be Yadong versus uh, Dominic Cruz because of the Team Alpha Male uh, blood there. Um, but I like this fight, man. And, and I, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and it's on that stacked UFC 249 card too, or 259, sorry. So it's uh, it's fun, man. It was a great addition to that card. 
Yeah, that card is absolutely stacked. And then you get a fight like this that on like a fight night, this could be, in my eyes, a co-main event. I mean, maybe fans wouldn't think so. But for me, I think it, this fight could possibly be that good. This is a steal the show kind of fight. Song Yudong's counter, his counter punching, his boxing, his wrestling. How is that going to work against Kyler Phillips' kicking game and his athleticism? I mean, this is going to be a fight that makes you stand up and yell at your TV. These guys are going to go crazy. It's going to be good. Yeah, for sure. What what I find interesting is these are two two very very good camps. Um, you know, MMA Lab obviously has produced guys like Ben Henderson, uh, like you said, Sean O'Malley, and then Team Alpha Male, obviously. Um, the amount of guys there, um, guys like Cub Swanson and Clay Guida, are there, or not Cub Swanson, sorry, Clay Guida and um, Darren Elkins are there. Uh, Chad Mendez obviously is still there. So it's it's really two good camps, and it's going to be interesting to see uh, those two masterminds going head to head um, and seeing what they can do. Um, that being said, man, if you had to make a prediction right now, which way do you have it? I, I'm leaning towards Song Yudong. Or your dong song, however you say it correctly. Being serious, you know, sometimes I get confused with Zhang Wali, Wali Zhang. But I really do. I, I think, I, I think he, you know, he just has a little bit more experience within the UFC. Um, we saw Phillips suffer a, a tough loss. Was it on the Contender Series before yeah. he he got into the the UFC? Right before the Contender Series, he lost right. to uh, Victor Henry. Right before the Contender Series, yeah, the Victor Henry loss. He's coming off of the big finish over Cameron Else. I think he's always improving. And I mean, he's very serious. Obviously, everyone in the UFC is about mixed martial arts. But I mean, he was coaching and now he's he's training and he, he's one of those lives in the gym type of guys. But I know Yudong is as well. But I, th I think Song Yudong, a little bit more well-rounded. I think he can pull a decision. Yeah, this one's a tough one. I, I have Song Yudong based on experience, but I wouldn't be surprised. I think Kyler Phillips, since he's – I mean, he lost – his he has two losses um, – Sorry, he had a loss with Victor Henry, which was a split, and then Brad Katona on the Ultimate Fighter. But that was a, of Katona. That was a, it was a majority decision, and we we know Brad Katona went on to win the show. Um, on the other side, Song Yudong, yeah, he's undefeated in the UFC, but two of those losses were highly controversial. So it's, I think this is really the test for Kyler Phillips. You know, um, he's being thrown at the wolves, and if if he can get past Song Yudong, the guy is ready for the the next step there in the top 10, top 15, you can start calling some shots. And uh, yeah, I mean, anyone who has long hair is definitely someone I'm rooting for. So uh, I'm going to say uh, Kyler Phillips, just be based on their recent performances. Um, Song Yudong has lost a couple. Kyler Phillips has won a couple. Um, so just based on that, well, Song, y Song Yudong lost a couple in my eyes, not on the scorecards, but um just based on that, I think Kyler Phillips may be able to get it done. So I have Kyler Phillips. Anyway. Yeah. Sorry, that, that's a great assessment. You're right. One's trending upward, you could say. Kyler Phillips yeah. right now, he looks like he's getting better and better. He's winning now. He's in the UFC and winning now. And one, not trending downward, but like I said, he had, you know, this, he was his prodigy, a lot of hype behind him. And then we've seen him, we've seen a few kinks in his armor in the past few fights. Do you, because Sonya Don's been inactive. So he hasn't fought since May. Whereas Kyler Phillips just fought. So it's going to be almost a year for Song Yudong when they get back in there. Do you think that's going to play a role in this fight? I don't think so with, with um, Song Yudong just because of how Alpha Male set up with, with how they train over there. Every day looks like it's live action and lots of sparring and lots of real good looks and lots of guys who are throwing, you know, uh, insane kicking techniques and giving him looks that Kyler Phillips would. So, you know, I think ring rust is real, but I don't think it'll affect Song Yudong because like you said, both of these camps are so good. I think that guys will both be ready no matter what the circumstances is kind of, you know, COVID protocols and all this coronavirus stuff. They know they just got to be ready. So maybe not too big of a, a deal for Song with the uh, time off. All right, perfect. So, man, that was a short and sweet. I thought it was, I think it was a pretty good breakdown and uh, definitely a first, a good first one. And uh, we'll be back. Uh, we'll, we'll do another video. Uh, hopefully we'll be released a day or two after this one and, uh, see you guys next time.